In this video, I'll show you how to use the remote configuration app that comes with Data Hub version 9. You can see I'm running the Data Hub, and if we take a look, I've already set up a tunnel connection. Let's have a look at the data. Here's the data coming into the Data Hub over that tunnel connection. In a moment, I'm going to close down the Data Hub and then run it as a Windows service. Then I'll show you how we can interact and configure the Data Hub while it's running as a service. But before we can do that, we need to configure a Data Hub user with the necessary permissions that will allow us to log in using the Remote Config app. Now to do that, we click on Security and then click on Configure Permissions. And here's where I can add a new username to the list. I'm going to call this one remote and I click here to add a password. Now the password needs to be a strong password which means that it needs to be at least eight characters long and it must contain an upper and lower case character. So I've done that and I'll click OK. Now we can select remote config from this list of group memberships. What that does is assign some permissions to this username. Those permissions will allow this user to connect, to load and to administer the configuration of the Data Hub, and also to read and write data that's in the Data Hub. These are the most common uh, permissions that you'll need to set up for a remote config user. So I'll click Apply that. Now, just before we move on, the Remote Config tab in the Data Hub allows you to define which of the Data Hub features is exposed to a user who connects using the Remote Config app. You can see for local connections where we're using the Remote Config to connect to a Data Hub running on the same machine, then all of the features of the Data Hub are enabled. We'll come back to this in a later video where I show you how to web launch the Remote Config app from a network computer. But for now, I'm just going to close down the Data Hub. And now we're going to come to the Programs menu and the Cogent folder. And I'm going to run the Service Manager, which will allow us to run the Data Hub as a Windows service. The Service Manager has picked up the local configuration directory for the Data Hub automatically. If you'd like to run the Data Hub with a different configuration folder, then this is where you would specify that. But normally what we do is just click Install Update Service. And in a couple of seconds, you can see the Data Hub has been installed as a service and it's currently in a running state. So we can close this down. And now we're going to go ahead and open up the Remote Config application. So back to the Cogent folder and click on Remote Config. And here's where we have our login details. We're going to be connecting on localhost because we're connecting to a data hub on this machine. We'll keep the default settings. I'll enter my username and the password. Click enter. And there you can see we've made a connection to the data hub. It gives us a version number. It says the data hub's running as a service and it's using the Windows System user account. So the remote config interface is pretty much identical to the configuration interface in the native data hub. You can see here is our tunnel. Let me take a look. Here is the data coming across our tunnel. And not only can we um, read the information, we can make changes as well. I'll just Write that back. You can see this has gone across. I'll set it back to 10 seconds. And we can also adjust the configuration. As an example, I'm just going to quickly set up 
uh, a loopback UA connection. So I'm making a UA client connection from the data hub back to the data hub's UA server. I'll just pick a few points. We'll select some from that tunnel domain. And I'll change this domain name. Let's call it loopback. Click OK and apply. That sends the new configuration over to the data hub and runs. And you can see our, our client connection is running. Take a look. Here's our loop back and our data points coming into the new domain. So that's given you a quick overview of how to configure the data hub to accept remote configuration connections and run the data hub as a Windows service and then connect locally using remote config. If you have any other questions, please see the documentation online at cogentdatahub.com. Please send email to support at skynet.com.